James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I want to teach you how to play Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. It's originally written by Fred Rose, and we're going to be learning Willie Nelson's version of it from his album Redheaded Stranger. And this song is just a three chord song, but it has all this extra super cool stuff. So it can be really simple, just D, A, B7. And all those chords are in my free ebook, my beginner's course, which I recommend checking out, especially if you're still having trouble or struggling with the basics. Those are definitely designed to help you with that. Anyways, um, like I was saying, it's just a three chord song, but there's all this cool extra stuff like and all these little bass lines and stuff that really make this song come alive. Uh, to get started, we're gonna learn the chord shapes. Our first one is E. That's a you know, super basic chord. If you have trouble with that or figuring it out, it's in my free ebook, it's in my course. I have a bunch of resources. I'll put links to those down below. Then there's a B7 chord. And for B7, we can kind of just leave our middle finger where it is. Like we have our E chord, we leave the middle finger down, and then we can pivot, we can make that B7 chord. Back to E. And then there's an A chord. And for A, you could make it with one finger, with three fingers. Once again, I have videos that show you and help you practice switching from E to B7. I have one for E to A. I think I have one for A to B7. So, you know, if you need help with any of the mechanics of those super basics, I have some free videos that'll help you. I have some uh, courses, some premium material that'll help you too. So I urge you to check those out if you have any trouble with this. Otherwise, if the chords aren't a problem, we can practice strumming through them through the entire song, just using downstrokes only, keeping the rhythm really simple for now. We'll work on that in a second. Starting off on an E chord. A one, two, three, four. That same part again. So I always like for my students to learn songs that way, especially if they're not able to, you know, do the finished product right away. Sometimes people can just do it, oh yeah, and they just get the strumming pattern. But most of the time you gotta break it down. And, I, and that's the first step, you know, just making sure that you can make the chord switches super clean and that that's not taking up any of your processing power. You know, your brain can kind of only focus on one thing at a time. So you have to build this into your muscle memory. And once you have that down, we can take a look at the strumming for this one. And this song uses like a classic strumming pattern for country music. So what I did there was I plucked the low E string, then I went down up, so that's the first bit. Then I plucked the A string, and then I did a down up. So it's low, A, E, A, E, just get used to that, E, down, A, A 
And for our B7 chord, it's pretty similar, except we pluck the A string first, then down up, and then we have to actually move our middle finger over to the second fret of the low string, and that's our other bass note. So our middle finger follows which string we're picking. Just try that a little bit. And when you're ready, you can add those down ups. So. And on the A chord, it's the same thing as B. We start off plucking the A string, then we pluck the E string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I recommend doing that over each individual chord just to get comfortable with it. You know, it'll, at first, when you're learning this style, it'll really mess you up when you're going from E to like a B. Because you'll have to pluck the same string twice in a row. You know, you go E string, A string. So always leading with the E string. And then when you're on the B, you have to lead with the A string. You know, and that, that always messes people up, kind of switch, switching between those two. So I recommend practicing it on those individual chords a whole bunch of times. And then when you're ready, try putting it together with the chords that we have so far. You know, and we can do that together nice and slow. Here we go. A uh, one, two, three, four. Two more. One more. Then we go to B7. And we repeat that whole part again. Cool, so that's the basic outline of the song. And you could jump up on stage with Willie Nelson himself, play it just like that, you'd fit right in. Nobody would notice that you weren't playing exactly the part that he plays. You know, that's the rhythm for it, and that'll carry you through. Now, if you want to take it a step further and add some, you know, all the bits that make it sound like the Willie Nelson recording, um, there's a few things we have to do here. So let's just go through it in order of the tune. The first thing is at the very start of the song. He goes like this. He's, first of all, he's reversing the order that he's plucking these strings in. Remember how I said for E, we pluck the low one, then we pluck the A string? Well here, he's plucking the A string first, then the low one. And when he plucks the A string, he hammers. So he has an open string, and then he hammers his middle to where it belongs on the E chord. So. And for that hammer, I just recommend trying it a whole bunch. I have a video where I talk about hammer-ons and I show you like a bit of a trick to getting the right amount of force. You know, you have to make a knocking sound if you turn your guitar over and you do that. It should sound like somebody's knocking on your door, you know, and if, if not, if it's like, 
that that means you're not hammering. You know, it's a hammer on. You gotta hammer the thing, right? Anyways, so we have this starting off with the A string. One, two. We do that two times. Then we start the singing. Through the ages out. And now here, there's another one of those things. Remember. So as you're singing the words or listening to it or whatever, through the ages out, re we just play an A chord. So I'm just using, I'm just taking my E chord and I'm just rolling my ring finger. It's kind of like an E sus, you know? So I, I have the A chord with that finger, but these fingers are on the E chord so I can quickly go back. Just try that a couple times. E, roll your ring finger and then roll it back. Just rolling that finger. So, so far, we're, we have our pattern reversed. Through the ages and now here when we go back to the E chord, we have our pattern the regular way. Member. And here, there's another difference. We go. So that's on the A string. Zero, one, two. And I play this with my middle finger because we land right into a B7 chord. So, root. And when we land on it, that acts as the first pluck of our strumming pattern. You know, because our strumming pattern is going Kiss goodnight and party. And then another one of these. I knew we'd never be the same. Do the strumming pattern once, then zero, one, two, four. So back to that, we did our E. A chord. Love is like a dying and so there we were playing our A chord a whole bunch of times. We did our strumming pattern three times on it total. And then the fourth time we just went zero, zero on the A string. So zero, zero, then on the low E, four, two. So all in all, Oh, oh, four, two. And that goes back into our E chord. Will I hand in hand again? So when we got to that B7, we almost did our strumming pattern one full time. We went. That's all I did. So I didn't go down up that last time. I just went root, down, up. And then I go, and that is from the open A string, hammer onto the second fret, then we pluck it, and from there it's really simple, it's just zero, the open A string, and then on the low E, four, two. So just try that a few times, hammering to the second fret. And then from there, it's back to the verse, and we've already done all the little tiddly bits for this. Let's just go over it now from start to finish, nice and slow, just so you can see it all together. Here we go. A one, two, three, four.
cool. So remember to take this one in steps. First get the chords down, then get them with the strumming pattern and have the basic outline of the song. And then finally add those extra bits and just add them one at a time. You know, maybe just add one of them, like the up to B7, you know, and just add only that and play through the whole thing and then add another one next time. And, you know, just go through it slowly. And in time, you'll definitely get this one together. Um, the only other part in this tune is the solo, and I think Willie Nelson's one of the best guitar players ever, so I personally think it's an amazing solo, and I would love to teach it in another video. So I will be doing that in the future at some point. Um, let me know if you how bad you want it. I might make it sooner than later. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my little schedule of things to make, though, so I might not get around to it too soon. Either way, um, if you need any extra help with this one, don't forget I have my free eBooks covering rhythm and lead guitar. I also have my premium beginners course for people who are struggling to kind of grasp the basics. And I have a bar chord course coming out any day now. Other than that, uh, have a good time practicing and I'll see you soon.